So let me spend a few minutes about the construction of the bocce ball uh, pendulum snake. Uh, I'm doing this in a series of videos, so if you want to see it in action, there's another video. I'll have another one for the math, and I'll have another one for the tuning it and how to know how long to make it, etc. I did this for about $150. I made a parts list. Uh, most of it was from Home Depot, except for the bocce balls were uh, two boxes of 16 for $30 a piece. I used the 90 millimeter bocce balls from Amazon Basics. Um, for the overall frame, I, I thought uh, I want this to be able to come apart easily. I'm a high school physics teacher and I want to be able to store it in the back room or move it places. So this isn't attached. This is just a sawhorse bracket, which is about six bucks at Home Depot for for two of them. I don't even have this attached right now. Um, I, it's basically an extra tall, extra wide uh, sawhorse right now. And then uh, I use three two by fours. So I bought 10 foot two by fours and I cut them to about nine feet because that's what would fit in my car. Uh, that allowed me to get uh, 14 bocce balls connected. Um, the key with this, uh, and not to get in the theory too much, but you sort of learn in class that uh, the period of a pendulum is uh, 2 pi square root of L over G. But what most people don't consider is, well, what if you can't use the small angle approximation? Um, in reality, it is sensitive to the angle you release it at. Um, I'm using 16 degrees. I'd have to look it up, but it's, you know, say 1%, 2%, something like that. I'll show you in the math video what it actually is, which doesn't sound like much, but over the course of 30 to 43 swings, which is what these range from, it winds up being substantial. Um, the other thing is not only does it deviate from the simple pendulum approximation, it's changing over time because the amplitude's decreasing as it loses energy. So one of the things you want to fight is any energy loss because that's going to lead to a greater change in the period, um, which we don't want. Um, we also want these to be pretty stable. So let's go through these uh, a couple pieces at a time. First of all, instead of just a single strand hanging down, I elected to use, as uh, most people do, um, two apart. It makes it more stable. Uh, I used six inches from hole to hole. So if you look under here, uh, in there, there's a, there's a hole for each of them. Can't see it because it's, it's, it's covered. Um, I made them six inches apart because it's about uh, one and a half bocces. These are 90 millimeter bocces, and I could get 14 of them on my 2x4 and still fit it in my car. Now, what I did was I drilled. I actually had to get a longer drill bit. So this is one eighth inch uh, cord. I got 50 foot for, it's an eighth inch. I want to say it was $4 at Home Depot. Uh, paracord, they call it. Uh, you can look at the parts list. Uh, I did buy myself a longer drill bit. So this is one eighth cord and I used one quarter inch uh, drill bit, a long one to, to drill through. But I drill from this side because I want these to be very precise along the center of it. And if these are off, it, it, it doesn't matter so much. I guess if I had a drill press, I could do it better. Um, so you, you feed those through. I feed them through with a paper clip. Works pretty well. You just bend it over just a little bit like this and push it up through. Uh, then what's key here is I drilled through um, and I used a wing nut and a bolt and a washer. Uh, I happen to use five, uh, five sixteenths uh, wing nuts just because that's what was available. And I went with two and a half bolts. I probably could have inch bolts. I probably could have gone smaller. Uh, I wanted ones that I could uh, grab onto on this side or use a wrench to really tighten it down. And the washer squishes into there. So that allows me to very quickly change the, the length here. Most of your length adjustment is done here. And uh, you'll see, you know, I'll present the, the theory what, how long it should be, but honestly, the easiest way to do it is just by, by trial and error, especially if you have a photo gate. But if you don't have a photo gate, you can just hand time it. You'll be able to get it pretty close. Um, now, initially when I did it, I noticed there was a lot of wiggling within the hole. So I didn't want that. I wanted this to be pinned in place. So I used more uh, bolts, uh, not bolts, uh, screws and uh, washers. These are slightly smaller. These are only one and a quarter across just so it would fit within the uh, two by four. And what I do is I use this to pinch and it serves two purposes. Uh, number one, it pinches it this way against the hole so it's not gonna rub 
it's not going to rub this way and lose as much energy. And the other thing it does is it also helps hold this in place. What we really don't want to happen is, is the swings back and forth to get longer and longer and longer. So primarily my sort of gross adjustment is with, uh, with this. I always pull tight before I tighten this. And then once I think I've got these, you know, from swinging and testing the period where I want it, I, I tighten this. Yeah, actually what I do is I tighten one all the way and then I leave one just a little bit for some fine adjustment here. And then I tighten it in place. So that's where you do your gross adjustment. But this is actually pretty sensitive. So what I did was I bought for $1.50 each. Uh, I, I happen to get this at Home Depot. It's I think four and three quarters, uh, five sixteenths thread I think, uh, turnbuckle. And this gives me, oh, about a thumb height, whatever that is, of uh, play. So you can just twist this, uh, uh, this way to tighten or make it shorter, this way to loosen, make it longer, for very fine adjustments. Uh, with the bocce balls, what I did is I drilled a hole and I sunk an eye hook into it. Uh, the first one actually cracked the shell, you got to be careful. I found that it actually worked better if I used a drill bit that was a almost as big as the thread on the eye hook, just slightly smaller, and it was less inclined to crack this. And it just kind of went slowly, and uh, this basically has some sort of like concrete stuff in it, uh, but you gotta be real careful. I also found that when I tightened in the eye hooks, if you tighten it too hard, this busts off. Um, so definitely don't over tighten it. Um, the Amazon bocce ball set uh, from Amazon Basics was $30 for uh, 16 of them. They come with half red, half green, and then two designs within them. They also come with a nice carrying case, which is one of the reasons why I bought them, uh, so that I can just unhook this. I just bent this with a wrench, so this just barely comes off, so I can just take this off. So the idea is, when I wanna pick this up and I wanna throw it in my car or take it somewhere, um, once these are tightened, and these are tightened all the way in. I'm hoping they never have to adjust them again, but I can if I need to. I'm hoping all the adjustments are just very fine adjustments here. Uh, I have found that uh, adjusting this each turn, you know, 360 degrees makes, now it varies by pendulum, but on the order of two, three hundredths of a second over the course of a minute. So it's, it's, it's pretty fine adjustment. Uh, but that, that level of adjustment is needed to get it to work well. Before I went to this, it, you know, the, the, it worked okay, but having this locked down so it can't move and having this for the fine adjustment made all the difference in the, in the world. So when I go to break this down, oh, the other thing is as far as launching it, uh, what I did was I just took a, a common board, I think Home Depot called it. Now it's eight feet, which is a little shorter than the separation between the sawhorses. And I, I just bought two $3 uh, drawer pulls and put them on there so that I can pick it up by hand and put it here, pull them all back simultaneously and release it. Now, you do want to release it from the same angle each time because when you've calibrated it, you've calibrated it for a very specific launch angle and you're just trying to have that replicate each time you, you do it. Um, if you start to pull it from higher, it still works pretty well but it starts to deviate more, and you'll find that the shorter ones tend to deviate more than the uh, longer ones in a minute, as you can expect, because there's more cycles per, per minute. So when I want to disassemble this, I take the bocce balls, I just, unhook, I just unhook them, throw them in the box they came in with a nice little bag. Uh, I wrap these strings around. I may do something to try to uh, lock these from turning from where they are. I may just wind up marking them, say here and here, with a Sharpie so that if it moves during uh, transport, I can put it back reasonably close. Uh, then I'll just wrap around a few times. You just kick the legs in, pick this up off. It is a little easier if you have a friend because these things will just sort of fall on you. Uh, so yeah, oh, uh, as far as the spacing here, uh, so hole, six inches, other hole for this. Then I went three quarters of an inch to the next hole. So basically you need six and three quarter inches for every bocce ball if you do it the way I did. And then you're just gonna put these a little bit over close so that they can pinch this um, as, you, 
as you go. So let me just right here. Uh, it is a good idea to drill up from what's going to be the bottom along a line, so that's nice and precise. So these are all pretty well in line, and then like when I did it, the top holes aren't as perfectly aligned. Uh, so I had a couple design iterations in between with things like hanging from eye hooks, or at one point I had uh, the turnbuckles up on top, but they, it didn't work as well. This this is definitely the best design. Uh, pinching with the washers combined with the pinching here combined with the turnbuckle works works pretty well. So uh, another video I'll go through maybe the math and I'll go through uh, calibrating it. it. It goes a lot easier if you have a photo gate but you don't absolutely need one.